Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of a brand new roguelike titled Inkbound. If you're curious what all this is, it was from my celebration stream last night. Thank you for everyone that came out. I hope you had a good time and maybe you were one of the winners. Gave away some merch, gave away a bunch of games. Now, when we're talking about Inkbound, if you have followed my channel for a while, I am a sucker for roguelike, specifically like over light. And this game does two things that is actually kind of rare in the rogue scene. One, it has online co-op. And two, you ready for this? It's turn-based. Interesting, right? Now, this game is developed and published by Shiny Shoe. And what we're going to do is actually check out three videos today. First video being the announcement trailer now. A single story can create an entire world, but left unfinished can easily fall apart. Forge new paths. Face your enemies. Fight for your story. Now I've got a feeling that you're a little intrigued because when I first heard about this game, I was intrigued. That's why I'm making this video. Right now we are on the official Steam page for Inkbound. Go on a co-op adventure in Inkbound, an online roguelite from the creators of Monster Train. Craft powerful character builds in procedurally generated runs and battle your way past the inky hordes with a unique active battle system. Ooh. Ah. Release date 2023, and like I said, this is from Shiny Shoe. Now on here, there is a lot of great information. They've also done a couple dev streams, which is awesome. So you can really see the game. They got their Discord, of course. And on the Steam page, there's some good information. I will link this in the description below if you're thinking about wishlisting it. Now, anytime we get a Steam page, I always check out the system requirements just so you laptop users or anybody that's on older tech knows if you could play the game. This is that kind of torch light graphics is what I would say. A little more on the cartoony side. Some people like it, some people hate it. That is personal preference. So Windows 10, Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, 970 and 3 gigs of storage space. This means that any computer basically of the last 10 years will likely be able to play Inkbound, which is great. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to machine gun style two different videos and we'll kind of treat it as reaction videos. So what I'm going to do over now, now is go over to YouTube. We're going to make this big. And then I'll pull my face down here and let's watch together. You ready for this? The lore review. Here we go. Three, two, one, now. It is from the expanse of ink that all creation can rise. It is from conduit of quills that all ink can flow. Quills? But when the ink dries and the quills fade, the ink bound will rewrite the world. Hi, I'm Mark Cook, founder and CEO of Shiny Shoe. And today I'd like to give you a sneak peek into the lore and world of our new co-op online roguelike, Inkbound. That's some good hair Here right there. Here we are in the Athenium, the central hub of our world, a massive library with all the stories ever written. Each story has new people to meet, new powers to wield, and new places to explore. Because here, Everything written in ink, the lifeblood of this world, becomes real. These creations you find were all written by members of the Athenium called binders. Using the ink, they binders. were able to infuse be that guy. their words into the fabric of reality. And just like every writer needs a pen, every binder needed a conduit for their ink called quills, ancient slivers of creation and binders companion. Companions that have all vanished. Ancient stories are unraveling. 
Entire worlds have sunk back beneath the ink. Some hidden force threatens to undo all of creation. So the ink is like a rising leader, over the world? A rogue story or something worse. It's like the never ending story. It's like the nothing is taking him over. Sorry. The ink bound toils tirelessly behind closed doors to save these worlds. They are a binder chosen by fate destined to bring peace to the Athenium and ensure its survival. But how can they succeed when even the quills have left? Well, I'll accept yours. Oh, look at you this dude. You are a servant made by binders to dive into the inkwell again and again. Like a zombie. Be needless. There's no expectation of greatness from you, but you sprout from the sea of ink with a quill bound to you. You are still needless, but now one of the last binders. Many will doubt you. Most will stand in your way, but maybe you can do what the ink bound cannot. Maybe these legends are wrong. Maybe you, a needless, will be the one to rewrite the world. If you liked what you saw today, you can sign up for the beta of Inkbound at inkboundgame.com. Wishlist us on Steam and join. Okay, one down. So now we know a little bit about the lore on Inkbound. It made sense to you. Now let's check out three minutes of combat breakdown. This is what you're really waiting for. Again, turn-based. Hi, I'm Mark Cook, founder and CEO of Shiny Shoe. Right now we're working on a game called Inkbound. It's an online co-op roguelike that shares design DNA with our award-winning title Monster Drain. And today I'd like to show you a little bit about what playing runs in Inkbound is like. Inkbound is a roguelike with online multiplayer. I'm currently in a party on a run with our community manager, Camille. Hey, Camille. Inkbound is set in a world where stories come to life out of a sea of ink. Man, it on is runs, a huge will and face pretty a series cool of threats UI. That are to destroy Look at that at the bottom. Let's jump into a combat and see how huge. players can deal with those threats. All right, battle begins. So you enter the ring. Combat in Inkbound is Time tactical down. and turn based, but it's unlike anything you've seen before. Each player directly controls their own character, and players can act in any order. Let's try using an ability, Ultimate Smash. Most abilities require aiming. That's interesting. So obviously you don't control the other players when you're playing online, but they said you can go in any order. So can you go at the same time? I don't know, maybe I heard that wrong. Like MOBA skill shots. I'm going to attack this Inkling, killing it. Using Ultimate Smash, consume three mana and put the ability on cooldown. Movement and abilities are constrained by the amount of mana you have. Once you're out of mana, you end your turn. Once all players have ended their turn, the enemy turn begins. Although the game is technically turn-based, we focused on making it play fast. Abilities and movement can be chained quickly. Now that you've seen the basics of how combat works, Let's take a look at some of the other types of decisions you'll make when on That's the run. actually pretty cool. During runs, players must make upgrade decisions from randomized options to craft their character build. On this run, I'm going with an upgrade to Leaping Strike because the shield gain sounds like it will bolster my survivability. You'll also need to find loot that increases your power and try to gather a set that creates powerful synergy. Loot can be obtained via exploration, as combat rewards, or from merchants. As your party makes forward progress in runs, you'll choose different... In okay, that's actually pretty cool too. So down here you have your skills that you select, and I'm guessing you can level them up just like he showed it. And then these circles over here are your items or your inventory, what you're actually wearing. When that he clicked on that thing, it dropped a ring, and then the ring popped in this circle. So you'll have your gear, you will have your skills, and then right here, I don't know if you caught that right at the bottom, is your mana bar. Once your mana is expended, that's when your turn is over. Environments to visit, each with their own challenges and rewards. To survive, you'll have to pick upgrades smartly and coordinate with your teammates to maximize your effectiveness. If your party wipes in combat, the run is over. I hope you like this small snippet of Inkbound gameplay. If I piqued your interest, please wishlist us on Steam. Sign up for the beta at inkboundgame.com. All right, let's bounce back over here and move me back to where I belong. Okay, so 
you got to see the announcement trailer. You got to see the lore, and now you know about combat. You even got to see the Steam page, Inkbound. What do you think? This will also be linked in the description if you want to sign up for beta. And I feel like I need to say this more and more if you're still watching this video. I was not paid to make this video. I haven't even talked to Shiny Shoe. I was just doing my own research, came across a new roguelike, and then decided to make this video. I want to know your opinion. You think this looks good? Does this look like something you'd be willing to play? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. To ask at the end of this video, ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Really does help us at the end of 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 45 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have a weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge. If you want to chit chat with me, special title in the discord and you get extra wheel spins for our monthly spin at the end of the month. Lots of fun stuff. Again, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Inkbound. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron out. <laughs> <laughs>